It's much like the communities that you live in. Everything is there, at least that's what I thought. But in, those, in that environment, there's murders, drugs, thefts, assaults, rapes, extortions, and weapons. And those crimes are committed by black gangs, white gangs, Latino gangs, Oriental gangs, Jamaican gangs, religious gangs, homosexual gangs, prison staff gangs, and non-associated gangs. They all control the turf within that wall. It can be a very violent environment while you're sitting there eating. If you're not looking, somebody may come and stab you in your neck. That's just the environment you're in. I had to get used to when I was eating to constantly look around. Because trust me, these guys know where to put that knife to make your system lock up on you. All it takes is one stick and they know where to put it to make your system lock up. Because if you don't, when you stab somebody, they're gonna keep coming at you. And if they have a weapon, they may get lucky and hit you in the kidney. But this is the environment where prisoners are supposed to be rehabilitated. You're supposed to come out and be productive, law-abiding citizens. When in turn, you are being conditioned to not be able to live in a society such as this. It is called classical conditioning. You all that have studied psychology, you know about classical conditioning. You are conditioned to fail. Are we surprised that the recidivism rate in the United States is 67.5%? Within three years of being released from prison, nearly 70% of those will return to the environment to which they, was, they were conditioned. Classical condition. We already know what's gonna happen. The majority will fail. I knew that. As I sat there in that chair in prison, I only had a GED. I only had a GED. But I had a huge task ahead of me. I had to challenge the United States government for my freedom. If I didn't,